TJ, I know that your current company is in a process of a merger and acquisition. So my question for you is, how can HR help in that process? We know that there will be some challenges bringing two into one. So how are you prepared or what can you tell us? Sure, yeah, uh, a merger or an acquisition can be one of the most exciting times, but it can also lead to an awful lot of anxiety within an organization. Uh, we're currently going through and experiencing a little bit of both, and uh, we're working through what, uh, uh, when it's complete, will be the largest uh, merger of its kind in Canadian history. So uh, we're pretty excited about it, but one of the challenges, as I mentioned before, is really around um, uh, how individuals are supported through the change and the uncertainty. And, and so HR plays a huge role in that, in, in both understanding uh, how people are feeling and uh, supporting the conversations and making sure that there's transparent conversations around um, what is going on, uh, what to expect, and really also uh, finding the way through the maze that is uh, the questions that there are no answers to yet. Mm -hmm. and, and so um, a transparency and, and really just uh, looking at how you can have uh, an open dialogue with your employees uh, through that journey is, is really the most important thing. And can you tell us when this merger is going to happen, if, if you can? Sure, yeah, we're a member-based organization, mm -hmm. so it's up to our members to approve. Uh, and the vote uh, will be tallied on November 21st, so uh, we feel pretty optimistic about it, but, uh, uh, but that's the key date that's for the key us. Date. Yeah. And we're looking forward to hear that. Thank you for that, TJ. Thank you. And for the audience watching and listening, if you have any other extra tips in terms of how can HR help during merger and acquisition, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with TJ.